Hello people! I am going to teach you today how to use MIDI's in Utau and make USDs from them. Before we begin, for those of you who don't know what a MIDI is, it is a sound file that your computer can use to create different sounds. It's, I don't really know how to properly explain it without using musical terms and stuff. But the main point is that it contains information that the computer uses to reproduce sounds. Utau has the capability of importing these, but it's very picky about what you can and can't import. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to split apart MIDI's into what you want, and then I will teach you what to do once you have the actual MIDI that you need to import. There are many different types of MIDI splitters out there, but I find that music notation software is one of the better ones. For those of you who have something such as synth font or another MIDI program, you just hang tight until I finish the rest of the tutorial. Because I just, yeah. So let's say you find a MIDI you want. And let's say this MIDI is on my own. What I want to do is I want to split Eponine's vocal track from On My Own and use it in Utau to make um, a UST from it. What I need to do is I need to find some way to get that by itself. There's a great website called noteflight.com. You, unfortunately, you need an account for the full version, but you can cheat. If you go to the website, uh, it's noteflight.com, let me sign out, let me sign out, um, you can try a live demo. What you want to do is you want to do that in two different tabs if you don't have an account. The next thing you want to do is once you've brought up your score, is to import the MIDI that you want. So that's under File, Import. So just to import, and then this window comes up. It's going to give you options for importing tracks and channels. Ignore this stuff down here, it shouldn't matter. Generally, I found that you want channels. So, as a start, hit channels. I know for a fact, though, that this MIDI needs tracks, so I'm going to hit tracks. If for some reason, when you import, it doesn't show up correctly and you know that there should be a vocal track, re-import it and then select the other option, channels or tracks, that you did not pick the first time. So now I just need to go down here, uh, and there's Eponine's voice track. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click to the right here, and it's going to highlight her entire track. I'm going to hit copy under edit, then go to my second one. I've already imported here, but what you want to do is select the entire score and hit paste. So now we have Eponine's vocal track all by itself. Next what I'm going to do is hit export under file. It gives you the option to save as a MIDI, and you want to do it for importing to another notation editor. You hit OK. It automatically gives you untitled.mid, so I'm just going to save to my desktop. You have to make sure you type in the .mid or it will not save correctly. So I'm going to save it as Eponine. I have another file named Eponine.mid on there. And now we've done, now we're done successfully taking the vocal track. So now you people that used all your fancy software to split your tracks and stuff can rejoin me. Next I'm going to open up Utah. It does, <clears throat> it doesn't matter who you have selected because it's just going to default back when you import a MIDI because it does that for some weird reason. So I'm going to get my MIDI and import it under File and Import. And then it, this box comes up. We have two tracks here. One and two. One is just the master track, and if you're familiar with importing MIDI's into Vocaloid, you'll know that the first track is just nothing. There's nothing in it. So we want to go to the second track. Aha! There are notes. Now, just to be safe, what we want to do 
is, well, first of all, you have to pick which voice you want. We're going to pretend that I want Defoco. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the nodes and hit ACPT, P2P3, and ACPT again. Sometimes what happens is that the no note is so short in a MIDI that when you import it into Tau, the envelope f like folds on itself and you get the exclamation point. So I'm just going to do that to make sure that most, if not all, of them are gone. As you can see, we now just have ah 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 ah, and that you just have to put in the lyrics for, and then work your UST magic in making it good. But that's really all about all that there is to using a MIDI in Utah. You just need to split it, and then you need to put that in. And yeah, bye.